Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do urban hotspot map by using Landsat satellite image. That means land surface temperature from Landsat series satellite. So I have a study area and I have already prepared LST for this my study area. So if you wanted to if you want to prepare land surface temperature of a particular area, you can see my previous tutorial and there I have already shown different uh, way how to prepare land surface temperature in ArcGIS as well as QGIS. So you can see my previous tutorial and you can learn or know how to prepare this kind of map. So after the preparation of LST, you can do the part from the R1 hotspot map. Sometimes urban hotspot map also known as heat island. So before going to urban hotspot map, I want to show the equation. So this is the very simple equation that urban hotspot that means land surface temperature of particular area greater than the mean temperature of that particular area plus 2. Okay, then multiplied by the standard deviation of that particular land surface temperature. So this is very simple. This is a formula for the calculation of urban hotspot. That means land surface temperature greater than mean land surface temperature of that particular area plus 2 multiplied by the uh, standard deviation of that particular land surface area. And known urban hotspot is that is less. This, this, this is the greater than and this is the less than okay so now question is that how we or from where we found the mean lst or standard division so this is very simple we'll part from this within the q sorry arcgis okay so this is my lst if i go properties if i go in coloring so if i okay this one if i give this you can see this is my land surface temperature so it shows the red areas have the higher land surface temperature and the blue area shows sky blue is the low land surface temperature and you can see also here the highest value is 34 degrees celsius where its low value is 21 degree uh, 0.61 degree celsius okay then if i go properties you can see uh, within the source click here source go below now within the statistics you can see minimum this is the minimum land surface temperature of the study area then maximum temperature of the study area mean temperature of the study area as well as standard deviation of the study area so within this layer properties if you go source then you can find out all of the statistics okay so these are simple cancel it so for the calculation of urban hotspot you should go within this arc toolbox within this special analysis tools and within that you can see map algebra raster calculator click here and this uh, tools we basically frequently use in arcgis okay so according to our equation lst means sorry urban heat island means lst greater than mean lst plus 2 multiplied by standard deviation so at first we require lst so go again the here so this is our lst that means this is the lst of my study area so double click here so lst is coming then choose greater than okay then according to our equation that means this is the mean lst of our study area so for that again go to here then click within this your layer uh, table of content right click here go to properties now go to shorts go below and you can see here mean okay so this is our mean lst of the study area so copy it okay click here and paste it then according to our equation you can see plus 2 multiplied by the standard deviation so plus 2 then multiplied by the standard deviation of lst so again go here right click properties go below now you can see standard deviation so select here copy this value ok and paste it here so our equation is complete ok 
LST greater than a mean LST plus 2 multiplied by the standard deviation of LST of the particular study area. Okay. Now output raster click here and I want to give R1 hotspot. Okay. Dot tiff. You should always remember ki our extension should be dot tiff file. Okay. Then click save, click OK. It will take few seconds. Our R1 hotspot is already identified. Okay. So now we can see here this uh, one layer added within this table of content that is R1 hotspot. So you can see a two color one is zero, one is one. So here one means the green portion actually showing the R1 hotspot area and the blue color showing the non R1 hotspot area. But the, the question is that how we know that this area is R1 hotspot, this area not. Actually for that if I go within uh, this table, you can see here this is our statistics. Our uh, according to our statistics, the mean LST of our study area was 26 degree 40, 26.48 degrees Celsius. And stress division was 1.46. According to this formula, the the our the value actually coming from the calculation is 29.4 29.46 degrees Celsius. So this is our value. That means if we calculate land surface temperature plus mean, sorry, lens, if we calculate the if you calculate the mean temperature plus 2 multiplied by standard deviation, so if we do this, that means mean temperature plus 2 and multiplied by 1.49, then 29.46 degrees Celsius will come. So this is our threshold value. That means if the area which fall above the 29.4 degrees Celsius considered as a urban hotspot area, if the values fall below the 29.4 degrees Celsius, that means that is a non urban hotspot area. You can see here the more than area and the less than area. So, by this way, we can calculate the urban hotspot as well as non urban hotspot area. As well as we should, we can also calculate the total area of urban hotspot as well as non urban hotspot area from this uh, image. But that I will show the next tutorial. You can follow my next tutorial, next tutorial to know how to calculate the urban hotspot from this uh, image. Now we'll do some things. That means I will go here, right click here, go to properties. If I go to symbology, I want to. Uh, you can remove also, or you can uh, like this. I can give no color also. Then apply. And you can also change the color. Urban hotspot. That means I want to give you the red color. Okay. Then click here red. Now interesting thing is that if I click here or if I change the color, that means I want to change the red color in some different color. Then I can uh, uh, show you the uh, the exact situation of the LST. That means I want to give uh, this color this green. Okay. Okay, now you can see here if I uncheck this and you can see the bottom layer that means the eight this area the red, reddish color showing the high land surface temperature. Okay, and similarly when I calculate the urban hotspot area, so those area basically identified as a urban hotspot. So it represents the area which have the higher land surface temperature basically recognized as a urban hotspot area. Okay, so now I want to uncheck this again go to here. I want to change the color because urban hotspot is uh, it actually the red color is more appropriate. So this is the area where urban hotspot actually identified. Okay, and this is my the base map. And within this our map, this particular area have the urban hotspot. So from here you can prepare a good uh, layout, and then you can easily. I uh, use this image in your research work. So the next tutorial I will show how to calculate the total area that means how much area from this uh, study area has uh, the urban hotspot and how much area is non urban hotspot. So continue watch my uh, 
the next tutorial and there I will uh, show you how to calculate the total area. Thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update. Thank you. Thank you again.